What's going on guys, Justin from PRP Seats here. An exciting day, we're installing rear seats into a Pro XP and this is gonna teach you guys and show you exactly how to install them with ease. All right guys, so this is the C73 Pro XP rear mounts. They come included when you guys purchase PRP rear seats and the rear bench. You can also purchase the C73 separately if you guys wish to use these holes on the base plate for any type of mounting, any storage or anything in your back seats if you just wanna use this. But uh, yeah, here's the side profile action and where the uh, it's all the bolts and screws are gonna go into. But this is the C73. Now with the C73, the bolts right here in the front, you guys, those are going to be used to install the seat to the base bracket. Now remember that these brackets can be used for PRP rear seats, buckets, and the bench. And then these ones here in the back can be used for installing the bracket to the vehicle itself. So we're going to be removing the stock seats. There's two different versions of the stock seats depending on what model of Pro XP you have. So this one is the unlimited and it has the flip forward bottom cushion. So we'll show you that one now. Reach back here, grab the handle, pull this forward, pop the backrest out. And then you can see this version has the flip forward seat. So it's only attached in the front here. So using a, a 13 millimeter socket, so you just remove the cushion. It's just these two, these two bolts here that you removed. If you have the fixed bottom cushion, there'll be two smaller screws on either side of this bracket and you will also have to remove these these bolts back here if you if you have the premium or the ultimate and it comes with speakers you'll need to remove those in order to get the stock harness bolt out and you'll do that by pulling the swing nut out i'm going to pop it out There's a wire right here, you disconnect. Set that aside. So these bars here are not necessary if you're running either the PRP bucket or the PRP bench. So if you haven't removed them in an earlier step, we're gonna go ahead and, and remove these now. You're gonna use a T40 Torx. Little, little awkward to get in here, but. and you can just discard this. It's not necessary for anything. So depending on what model Pro XP you have, um, some of these holes that this mounting plate lines up to are tapped or threaded and some are not. So that's why we've included uh, self-threading bolts here. So in this particular model, these two rear ones were threaded, but these front ones are not. So using these self-threading screws, gonna wanna line them up here push a little bit and just tighten them on up. Once you have all six mounted down, you now have all the holes properly threaded, you can remove this bracket because we're gonna need to attach this bracket to the seat before we put it back in here. All right 
right guys, so we went ahead and put the C73 mounts that we talked about a little earlier on the actual bucket seats for the Pro XP. Now we're just gonna go ahead and tighten these down and as we uh, mount them, we're gonna keep in mind that whatever we do here, we wanna make sure it's the same distance on the other side so that way they sit evenly. Do the same over here, kind of snug these up. We are now ready to mount inside the vehicle. Let's get it. Okay, so now that we've got the bracket mounted to the seat, we're just gonna set it in place. <clears throat> Line up our bolt holes. Yeah, I do, I do I have the right bolts here. Kind of get these started. No. Once you're sure they're all lined up, go ahead and tighten them down. And we recommend a ratcheting end wrench, a lot easier to get in there. Same on the outside. Ratcheting in wrench, real easy to get to. All right. It's tight. Ready to go. All right guys, so we just wrapped up the installation of PRP rear bucket seats into a Pro XP. They turned out amazing. We wanna thank you guys for watching and we hope this helps with the installation of the seats inside a Pro XP. Thank you again.